So if, if you come to an assessment centre, what typically will happen is we'll, we'll probably have you come the night before, just because from a travel perspective. So you'll be with us for a day and a half. Some organisations, it may only be a day that you're with them. Um, but you'll come usually around about two o'clock in the afternoon the day before. We'll um, take you through a presentation about National Grid and about the opportunities that we have, so the particular programme that you've applied for. We'll also um, offer lots of opportunity for questions during the first afternoon. So really this is a bit more of an education, making sure we've covered off the, all the questions so that you can make the right sort of decision about us. It's a two-way process. The next day really is the main assessment day. And what you'll get involved with is an interview that will probably take about an hour. Um, it's competency-based, so again, what have you done in the past across a number of different um, areas, so teamwork and communication, problem analysis, lots of other different areas, and we'll ask for you to give us evidence of that. Um, the, there will be two assessors in the interview, so you'll have two people talking to you. We'll then do a manual dexterity test with you in a workshop environment where we get you to take a component apart and then put it back together again. For candidates that have applied for our overhead lines vacancy, um, then we'll get you to actually climb a tower. So again, that's with full um, protective equipment. Um, again, add uh, appropriate trainers that will be there to take you up. You'll be assessed as you're doing it, and you may well do a manual dexterity while you're on the tower itself. And that's for us to see, you know, you're going to be spending a lot of your time working at quite a height. Uh, we want to make sure that that's comfortable um, and that you know you have some sort of natural ability that you're not frightened by that prospect. Um, we also ask you to do a maths and science test, fairly simple test, uh, not particularly long. Um, we've developed that in-house um, and it's what you would typically have covered during your GCSEs. So again, shouldn't be anything that you know you can't answer. Um, we also um, do a colourblind test with you and again I know that can be quite frightening but it's a booklet that we show you and it's to ensure that you don't have any deficiencies and even if you do we've got, a we've, we've got an idea of what level of deficiency you have. Um, some people that do have a deficiency still manage to secure a role with us because they're able to identify for themselves even if they are colourblind a particular colour sequence. Um, so we take you through a, a wire test so if you can identify what the wire colours are for you it's red and green but it's different for somebody else um, then you know there is no issue for us from you working from a health and safety perspective.